Hospital Administration, Mr. Alcorn and Mrs. Holland. And another special guest with us today, Lieutenant Matthew Fletcher. And I'd also just like to start off with a huge thank you to Mr. Gemmer, who helped organize everything for today. invite to the stage at this time, Vanessa Victor and Evansley Joseph. Please come to the stage again. Well, we have an opportunity to welcome our guests this morning and thank those who have been so instrumental in pulling all of this together. But there's another group of folks because without them, boys and girls, I don't know if we'd be here. I would like to thank the most amazing group of fifth grade teachers who have been so dedicated to you to ensure that you're learning and growing all year long. Mr. Leonard, Ms. Mazurkowitz, Ms. Racemius, Ms. Quinlivan, and Ms. Wasper. Boys and girls, how about a big round of applause? Thank you. Boys and girls, I have a few words I just want to share with you. Because when I look out at all of you, the first year I got here, you were first graders. I can't believe it. And now look at you. You are ready for middle school. It's just hard to believe. But you know what? There's a special word and acronym that we've been using here at Parkside for the past couple of years, and that is the word BEST. But that word BEST has some very special meaning for us here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And we talk about B, which we've talked about as a school meaning what? B. Awesome. Because we always believe in the possibilities. And we've talked about E for? Ever. And we talk about dreaming big. Give your very best effort. Because you can't accomplish anything. And you should already have that mindset as fifth graders. And we talk about S, which is support. support and serving others. Because if you support and serve others, your life will be full. And then we also talk about T. Tenacity. That's right. And boys and girls, that's an important one too. Tenacity means never give up. Pursue what you want to pursue. And if there's a barrier, what do we do? We go around it, we go over it, we go under it, we make it happen, don't we? And I want you to always remember that because even when we have setbacks, even when something doesn't go quite right, do we give up? No. no. We just get up and we do it again. And I want to share with you very briefly somebody that exemplified that. That means this person showed their best in all that they did. Have you ever heard of a famous person named Disney? Yeah, Walt Disney, that's right, exactly right. He believed in the possibility of animation. He loved to draw, he, and he wanted to take his drawings, even as a little guy, even your age, he loved to draw. And he wanted to take that, and he wanted to make his drawings come to life through animation, because he believed through animation all kinds of things could happen. And talk about effort. You know how he earned money to make his dreams come true? He sold his drawings to people when he was young. He, used, he would make these awesome drawings and sell them to people and earn money to buy his own studio where he could develop his drawings and his artwork. And you know, one day he developed a character. I bet you know who I'm thinking of. He developed a character that would change, kind of change the world. 
because he brought animation to life, and as you know, Mickey, then we had Donald, and then we had Goofy, and then we had Pluto, and then we had Snow White, and then we had full length features like Cinderella, all because he had a dream. And Walt Disney always said, if you can dream it, you can do it. That was his famous saying. If you can dream it, you can do it. And boy, did he ever. Do you know what was really special about Walt Disney? You know the, the, the letter S in best, where we talk about support and, and serving others, right? His biggest dream was to make others happy. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to make others happy. And hasn't he done that? Think about Walt Disney World, Walt Disney, uh, Disneyland, all the great features, all the characters. He's brought joy to millions of people across our planet. And it started with a dream. And it started by him giving his best. And did he show tenacity? What do you think? He sure did. Because at one point, he went bankrupt. He had no money. Zero. But he didn't give up. He had a vision. And he wanted to make it a reality. And he did. And so when you think about giving your best, I want you to think about Walt Disney. Because it started out with drawings. And look what it became. Amazing story. And you could do the same. You could do exactly the same. All you have to do, and all that you do, is give your... That's exactly right. All right, boys and girls, I also have, we also have a guest speaker today that wants to share some words with you. And he took time out of his busy day to come here to be with you and to share some words. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Captain Barkley. He started his career with the Naples Police Department and he started as a police officer in 1990. By 2006, he was already promoted to sergeant and then in 2015, he became a lieutenant. I think I'm hearing about someone else that gave him best. And then he was promoted to his current ranking of captain. Now, he holds several college degrees, but he's still learning and training. He's taking classes at the University of Miami to get his master's degree. So he's continuing his learning and opportunities because he also trains others. He also trains other police officers. He also was a D.A.R.E. instructor for 17 years. So you know what our D.A.R.E. instructors do. They're very important. And then uh, Captain Barkley also enjoys living in Southwest Florida. He's got great hobbies. He likes the boat and he likes to fish and do anything outdoors. So would you please give a big round of applause for our special guest, Captain Marshall. Skills. You start to learn about science. 
and there's certain things you start to like, and some things you put in your toolbox, you don't use them all the time. But then you're going to go back to your toolbox as you get older, as you go along now. And what you're going to understand now, and see as you go further along in school, is you're going to have more and more responsibility, and more and more things that you have to do, and you're going to put more responsibility on your shoulders now. And you're not, you're not, you're not young kids anymore. You're starting to grow up, and you're starting to get older, and they're going to show you more things that you can do, and more impacts you can make on people's lives. And the most important thing, as Mr. Stewart pointed out, I'm, I'm going to college right now and getting my master's degree. So in life, you never, ever, ever stop learning. When you just because you graduate from elementary school and then you go to go through middle school, high school, and you go to college, you're never going to stop learning. Most chances are when you go to whatever job you choose to do, whatever career you choose, you're going to continue education. Your teachers go to continuing education classes. Police officers, we train all the time. We're always doing new technology. All the tools on my belt, half the tools on my belt didn't even exist when I started as a police officer. There was no taser, there was no pepper spray. All these tools are new technology changes and you have to evolve with the technology. That's why education will be a part of your life forever because you always want to be learning and, and learning new things. It's important 